I'm back again and this time I am doing a the first of a few um, in a series of my makeup collection because I've been asked to. So the first one I'm starting with is this drawer which as you can see from the little label is my eyeliner drawer. So there's pencil eyeliners and liquid eyeliners and gel eyeliners and all sorts. So uh, let's get started. So this bundle here where I just dropped the lid are all double ended um, pencils. Uh, a lot of these ones are actually black or like black and white ones. So like there's I kind of put them all in rubber bands but I don't really know. It'll do what it does. So like there's the Maybelline Big Eyes. I haven't had this one for very long. Haven't really used it. Um, this one is the Rimmel version, although it's not as chunky. These ones all came from um, a magazine series that was in Australia. And they're quite a few years old, but they all still seem to be fine. So there's heaps of different colours, like purple and green and blue and black and stuff. So that's all them. All the ones in this bundle are pretty much purple. <laughs> Various shades of purple. So there's Maybelline Cool Effects. I have quite a few of these ones. Um, An LA Colours Jumbo Eye Pencil. Uh, two of my favourite waterproof eye definer, which are the um, Rimmel Exaggerate in Deep Wine. Um, this is a Korean brand, this one here. And a Maybelline Master Smoky. Haven't even used that one. A lot of these I haven't actually used. Um, uh, I've got another one of the Rimmel Exaggerate. I've got a few of these ones scattered through. What they were is they did actually have like a mascara on the end, but the mascara was like complete shit um, or dried out. But the pencils on the other end are still perfectly fine. So I've kept those. Um, eventually, I guess I'll use them. Um, another one of the, I've got a few of these I Express ones as well. Um, they're not my favourite. A Star Looks Ultra Olive. This came out of a um, Bella Box or a Lost Habit or one of those ones. Um, and then, oops, lots and lots of these. A lot of these are double ended, but some of them have got. Um, smudges on the end of them. These again all came from a um, magazine series that went on for ages and ages. It had lots of other stuff like eyeshadow and blush and all that kind of stuff. But as a result I have an absolute truckload of these double-ended and single-ended pencils in virtually every colour that you can imagine. These in this bundle, there goes another lid, um, are all ones that are light or just plain white. Um, so there's like a NYX in white and then um, a cool effects in sort of, it's, it started to, it was pretty much was dried out right from the start but <laughs> it still, it still works. It's just um, a bit loose in the packaging. I don't know, that one might go out. Um, NYX Wonder Pencil. Brand new. Haven't even taken it out of the wrapper yet. And some more. So they're all nude colours or white. Um, I have this fabulous pencil. This one is again a Korean one. Um, as you can see, it is bright orange. And that is actually an eyeliner. It's not a lip liner. These are all eyeliners, even the really obscure colours. 
This bundle is browns, bronzes, golds, those kind of colours. So I have a Grow Luscious um, in Espresso, um, a Bloom in Dark Brown. This is actually supposed to be an eyebrow pencil, but it'd be way too dark for that. So, Cool Effects by Maybelline, another one of these pencils. So many of those. Another one of the weird ones. But this one's in brown, which is what was with those ones. This one's a gold eyeliner. Which I just broke the end off of. Yay! Oh, well, that will mean that one will last less time. But it's just, I don't know how well you can see that. My lighting's really funky because it's like late at night. I'm using non-natural light. Um, and oops, uh, one of the L'Oreal high intensity pigment ones. I have quite a few things from this range. It's just a nice dark bronzy gold sort of colour. Kind of cool. Again, I haven't really used it. I have a lot of stuff that I haven't actually used. This bundle here is just my black eyeliners plain black eyeliners. So, as you can see, I have quite a few of them in different brands. I have a, a Lancome, I have an Anika, I have a Grew Luscious from Revlon, I have an Anoxa, I have one from this brand called LOL, which is a really, really cheap ass brand. Um, I have a Jordana, Quick Liner, some random ass brand, don't know what that is. Um, yeah, so... I have quite a few of the black, just plain black. And some of my double-ended have black on them as well, so I have more black than I know what to do with. This little bundle here are all um, liquid eyeliners. Um, so, you know, I have a Bourjois, a Natio, a Noxa, Alme. This one's kind of cool. This one's actually purple. So that's kind of cool. Um, yeah, so I have quite a few of those. I have, this is from that magazine series, again, this one here. It's kind of a um, glossy, uh, shiny, browny kind of colour. Even though it's years old, it's still basically good. So, I don't know if you can tell, but it's not like black, black. It's kind of a sparkly, browny black. So I have all of those. I'm actually trying to work my way through liquid eyeliners because I'm not hugely crazy on them. This bundle here are all, um, again, liquid eyeliners, but they're all sort of coloured ones, except I think this one, because that one's in black. It probably should be with the other ones. We'll just chuck all the other ones. Um, so like glitter ones. So I have quite a few glitter ones, like NYX ones. A really intense purple from Graphics, bright blue, um, yeah, so more liquid eyeliner than I know what to do with and I don't really use them, <laughs> which is terrible. I have this gel eyeliner which I just got in a beauty box, haven't taken it out of the box yet. I have two of these Face of Australia gel eyeliners in brown and purple. I'm sure they probably have different names. And then I have two of the um, Fashionista ones. I quite like the Fashionista brand, even though they're not made anymore. Um, this one's a really dark, sparkly green. And this one is a bright blue colour. I have used them a little bit, but not very much. Um, haven't really got into gel eyeliner yet. I probably should, but anyway. And lastly, we have these three um, L'Oreal High Intensity Pigment Coal Eyeliners. These aren't, um, so it was like a bronzy brown, that one's like a tealy blue and that one's like gold. They're not like liquid and they're not pencil, they're more like powder. Kind of weird. I don't know if you can, it doesn't really want to focus for me. Um, so 
sort of a kind of more like a powder. Come on, focus on my hand. Yeah, they're weird. They're just more like a, a powder than anything else. But yeah, so that is my massive collection of just my eyeliner stuff, <laughs> which that's kind of horrifying when you think about just how much is there. Uh, you can see why I'm project panning, quite frankly. Um, yeah, so that would be my horrendously huge pencil gel liner, liquid eyeliner collection all in there. So I do not need any more eyeliner for a horrendously long time. <laughs> so that was part one of my makeup collection. And uh, if you want to subscribe, click down below. Give me a thumbs up if you like this kind of videos. And leave me a comment down below. I try to respond to all comments. And I will see you in my next video. See ya.